Yo, what's going on? Mike from Mike Talk Sports. One of the biggest takeaways for the Dallas Cowboys in their 49-17 dismantling of the New York Giants is the emergence of backup running back Rico Dowdle. So in today's episode of Mike Talk Sports, we're going to be diving into his performance against the New York Giants. Overall, who is Rico Dowdle? Where did he come from? And what should we expect from him in this offense going forward? So Rico has actually been on the Dallas Cowboys roster ever since 2020, but he really has been stashed behind not only Ezekiel Elliott, but Tony Pollard as well. So going into this season, it was a significant opportunity for him to fill in that running back two role. And at a surface level, you don't really get excited about a former undrafted free agent out of South Carolina. But let me explain to you guys why Rico Dowdle is significantly more talented than your average undrafted free agent. He really had some unfortunate events happen in his collegiate career that caused him to slip outside of the NFL draft. He was a very athletic dual threat quarterback coming into college, but coming into college, he saw a better opportunity and a better window to play at the running back position. So his freshman year of college, he transitioned to running back and this move paid off immediately for Rico. Now, he did miss the first four games of his freshman year with a sports hernia, but after this, he was the lead rusher the entire season for South Carolina. In just nine games, he had 764 rushing yards and seven total touchdowns. That was on a very efficient 5.7 yards per carry as well. So going into his sophomore season, there were significant expectations for Rico Dowdle, and while he did somewhat struggle in the first couple games of the season, he ended up breaking his leg at the end of of 2017 and Rico really was never able to reclaim that solidified number one running back spot on South Carolina not only this but he did continue to battle with some injuries with a knee injury as well so in four seasons he ended up having his best season in his freshman year due to some unfortunate circumstances And as I mentioned before, being the running back three on Dallas over the past couple seasons, he really has never gotten significant playing time, and that's where it brings us today. So why is Rico Dowdle even significant or even relevant in this Dallas Cowboys offense? Let's be completely honest. It is Tony Pollard in the disappointing season that Tony Pollard has had. Now, Tony Pollard in his own right has been a very interesting case study with the Dallas Cowboys. He's someone who's looked absolutely elite and explosive every single time he's touched the field for Dallas over the last couple of seasons as the backup running back to Ezekiel Elliott, that nice change of pace back. And he even had nine touchdowns and a thousand yards last year on 5.2 yards per carry. And he was set to be the full-time starter this season. Everyone was very excited for Tony Pollard, but he certainly has not lived up to expectations. For reference, guys, again, like I just said, 5.2 yards per carry in 2022 puts him in elite running back territory. Same with 2021 with 5.5 yards per carry. And even in his rookie season, 5.3 yards per carry. He's always been a guy who's been such an efficient runner of the football as that change of pace, fresh legged guy entering the game. But it's been so disappointing. He went from being elite at yards per carry and overall his efficiency every single time he touched the ball, not only in the running game, but in the receiving game as well. But this season, it genuinely has fallen off a cliff. He's at 3.9 yards per carry this season, which puts him below league average. And the same goes with his yards per catch as well. It's at 6.6 this year, which is by far his career low. Now, while Tony Pellard is still a solid running back in the NFL, it is clear he's not this 20 to 25 carries per game guy. Rather, he's most effective when he gets around 12 to 15 touches per game. So that opens opens up a significant window for Rico Dowdle to come in and get at least 10 touches per game going forward in this Dallas offense, which is very intriguing for Rico Dowdle. But make no mistake about it, guys, Rico Dowdle in his stock rise isn't solely because Tony Pollard in his stock fall. Rather, it's because of that and Rico Dowdle's impressive play and skill set as well. Right when you watch Rico Dowdle at six foot, a nice frame as well, you realize right away he has a good power speed combination not only is he that bigger bruising style of back but he also ran a 4.54 40 yard dash in college coming into the NFL and that speed really does show on tape 
He also has a very nice jump cut, which was displayed multiple times in this Giants game and something I really like out of Rico Dowdle. Really, his best attribute, in my opinion, really is the mentality in which he goes about the game. He's very decisive. He has very good vision as well, and he's such an aggressive north-south runner with that north-south mentality. He came to the media after the game, and he was so happy to have his career day. Not only that, but he kind of tapped into what his mentality is as a runner. Runner, and it absolutely is that north-south style. So this causes Rico to hit the hole very quickly and very hard with a certain amount of confidence and hard effort and aggressiveness about his game. When you watch Rico Dowdle out there, it's not some unconfident running back that's just trying to squeeze out three, four yards per carry. It's a guy who thinks he can belong. It's a guy who thinks he can break a 20-yard run every single time he steps out on the field. And overall in this game, he had 6.6 yards per carry with some really nice runs in there. And of course, he did finish the day with a nice goal line touchdown. So to answer the question of the video, will Rico Dowdle break out for Dallas? I do think he will break out in a way. Now, do I think he's going to be as good as Tony Pallard was in 2022 or 2021 or even his rookie year? Not necessarily, but I do see a significant opportunity for Rico Dowdle to be very nice towards the end of the season for Dallas and even moving forward, it is most likely that Tony Pollard will not get a contract extension in Dallas. So this opens the opportunity for Rico Dowdle to be a solid piece and a solid contributor for the Dallas Cowboys for not only this season, but to move forward into the future next season as well. Thanks for watching today's episode of Mike Talk Sports. Let me know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on Rico Dowdle? And do you agree with my take that he'll carve out a very nice role, about 10 touches per game to end this season and even going into next season as well. If you enjoyed today's episode, smack that like and hit subscribe. Also, I apologize for just playing the same clip over and over in this video. This really is his most significant amount of playing time.